I want you to picture, because I'm going to end with courage, because that's what it takes. You know, the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, courage, boom, okay? I want you to think of a time where the governor, the senator, he literally would carry cards that said, I'm an enemy of the state, I mean, I'm an enemy of God, and I love Satan. If you want sacraments, you can't get sacraments. In fact, if you go to church, all the priests, they were hung and killed. You went to church, guess what happened? You got the same exact thing. If you can picture a time, you can picture about the 19th century in Mexico the, with the Cristeros. And what happens is it's in Mexico. And what happens is the Cristeros stand up and they're like, no, 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 no. You can do this. You think you can do this, but this is God's army. So we're going to stand up and fight. And that's what happens. They end up fighting. Little 15 year old, I'm sorry, 14 year old Jose Sanchez hears about the Cristeros. And he wants to do something about it. He goes to his mom. Mom, I want to go join the Cristeros. His mom is like, what are you talking about? You're 14 years old. Get out of here, man. Go play with a toy. <laughs> he does what any young man would do. He's like, yo, I'm out. His mom catches him. She says, hey, take some food. He goes to a first general. When he goes to the general, he's like, yo, I want to join your army. The general laughs at him and is just like, what are you, you're a kid, get out of here. He goes to another general. This general's an atheist. The general sees that there's something good with this kid and is like, you know what, I tell you what, I'm going to take you, but you know, you can only like do dishes and so forth, you know? He works his way up to be a bugler in the army. Going into battle, rounds coming down range, and I don't know if you've ever been shot out or anything, it's not fun. He doesn't, he doesn't even have a weapon. He has a bugle. He's riding into battle, and the general who takes him on fall, falls off his horse. Little Jose Sanchez rides over to him, and is like, yo, take my horse. The general's like, what are you talking about, man? Yo, get out of here, man. He's like, no. You're a general. They can kill me. I'm a little kid. They kill you. That's a general. The general takes his horse. Jose Sanchez gets captured. And they take him to this abandoned church. And as he's sitting there, he's tied up. And he's watching grown men cry because they're getting tortured right in front of him. And you know what he says? Hold on. They can kill your body. But this is God's army. We're going to win. Hold on, brother. Oh, yeah, little man, you got it like that. You next. So they turn on Jose Sanchez. They take him to this, like, rock. Some say it's like a, it was an abandoned altar. But they tie him to it. And as they're tying to it, they say this to him. They say, look, we're going to start cutting off the bottom of your feet. But all you need to do is just announce your faith. So whenever you're ready, little man. They start cutting off the bottoms of his feet. Denounce your faith. They start cutting off the bottoms of his feet. Denounce your faith. They cut, start cutting off the bottoms of your feet. Denounce your faith. And from the bottom of his heart, he, he yells this, Viva Cristo Rey! Long live Christ the King. Oh yeah, little man? Get up. They take him up. They march him about a mile outside the city. No bottoms of his feet. They march this little kid. They take him to this abandoned grave. And he's sitting there. And they say this. Look, all you need to do is announce your faith and we'll make this death really, really slow. They take out their knife and they start cutting him, stabbing him. Denounce your faith. They start stabbing him. Denounce your faith. They start stabbing him. Viva Cristo Rey! Long live Christ the King, he yells. They pull out a weapon. Shoot him. And as he's dying, little 15-year-old blessed Saint Jose Sanchez, from what I just heard, he takes his hand, puts it in his, his wound, makes the sign of the cross, Viva Cristo Rey, long live Christ the King. His death is for life. 15 years old. But we can't go to Mass, right? 
We can't share our faith, right? You mean to tell me that's what we've come down to? You're happy with 80%, 60 to 80% leaving at confirmation. Sorry, I'm not. Neither is Pope Francis. Am I telling you that you need your life like you should be standing on the corner, John 3, 16? That may be for some of you. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is just like the apostles. Imagine if the apostles who met the risen Christ didn't share it. Because I see it so much. Oh, you know, I'm going to share it with my action. No, you're not. No, you're not. Because 60 to 80% is leaving. Oh, oh, let me get it better. Of those 60, uh, 20% or so who stay, only 6% stay active. What does active mean, Alex? Oh, just going to Mass every other Sunday. That's what we've come down to. <laughs> the church that Jesus started, built on the blood of the apostles, giving us a direct access to Him and to holiness. But here's the thing. I can't do it, Alex. Good. That's the community of the sacraments. Grace perfects nature, as St. Thomas Aquinas says it. It changes us. It gives us that. And meditate on it. And I guarantee you, it will make you look at this world a lot differently. I couldn't even walk in the subway without sitting here seeing people that I'm just like, I automatically just pray for. Again, I'm not perfect. I'm not saying that. What I'm talking about is having what I call, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just use this term from now on. It's called the Eucharistic worldview. It's looking at the eyes through the Eucharist because in the Eucharist, go back to that image. It's broken. It's taken. It's blessed. It's broken. It's given. Can your life speak these verbs? I'm not asking you to do anything that Pope Francis the church fathers, the magisterium, everybody's asking for all of us to become saints. Imagine what this world would be like, New York City, if we all took that a little bit more seriously. As the song plays, I didn't have this planned out. We were supposed to show the video, whatever. Holy Spirit, that's how it works. Technical difficulties, real talk. <laughs> As the song plays, it's going to take about like three or four minutes. I said a lot. I just want you to kind of lower your head. I know we're going to pray. Just lower your head, enter into some of the words, something I may say. Just think about it for a second. And as you know, we're going to stop the music and we'll have time for questions and answers. I want to leave you with this one thought. We have everything that we need to become saints. The only thing that's stopping us is which voice are you listening to?